I think that it's important for us as farmers to realize that we are part of a bigger ecosystem and we're not just our little farm or our pasture or our poultry. I believe that raising a chicken outside is so important, raising it on pasture is so important to where it can, it can do the things instinctually intrinsic to itself is so important that I'm willing to take on the risk and take on the burden of caring for a chicken outside. And so what does that look like? Well, We farmed for about a year without too many problems, and then we started realizing that we'd order 200 chicks, and we would maybe harvest or slaughter like 150 of those. Or we'd order 200, and then we'd put 100 back into the freezer. And we could not figure out what was going on. And at one point, it was affecting our business so bad, we'd lost almost 95% of our birds. And finally, stayed up all night one night, and we just saw coyotes coming through the fence line left and right, taking out 20, 30 birds a night. As a former Marine Corps sniper commander, my first instinct was just to get up in a tree and start shooting all these animals. But it didn't jive with what we were going for on the farm side at all. We got into this because I love the idea that we can heal the soil, provide healthy, nutrient-dense food for people, and be a benefit to the community, which includes the wildlife community that's around us. So it just didn't make any sense for us to go out and start shooting coyotes when they were here before us. Uh, we're really in their neighborhood, it's not the other way around. And appreciating that, respecting that, um, led us down the path of Livestock Guardian Dogs. And we got our first two Livestock Guardian Dogs, and we literally have not lost a single animal to predation in four years since then. On each of our farm properties, and we have three, three main ones. We have wildlife corridors that are completely unfenced. Just in that hedgerow right there is a, a corridor that, that heads down to the river and up to the mountains from the river that they can follow without running into any kind of fencing or barrier at all. We want to create a, a, a vibrant ecosystem and that involves predators as well as kind of prey and, and you know pollinators and everything. When the land improves, we see a lot more animals. We see a lot, we do see a lot more raptors and, and birds we're kind of concerned about, but that's a healthy sign too. Hi, hi big boy. The way that we judge our success isn't just about like the dollars that are in our bank account. That's great, that's like a small part of it, but it's also when you go out and you see the thousand butterflies or the crazy snakes going through the field or the mice or the deer, or the coyote that's on our fields enjoying that amazing ecological habitat that we've created through really well-managed livestock that benefits the soil. It's so much more than just, oh, we sold X number of chickens this year. <laughs>